All right, what is up guys? So I've been doing some daily algorithm challenges and I figured it'd be a good idea for me to record myself doing them and also trying to explain the solutions as I solve the question. Um, this is really good practice for whiteboarding and you know, it'd be a good opportunity to add some more content on the channel. So I've been doing these challenges through a website called Code Wars. If you're not familiar with it, definitely check it out. They've got questions that you could solve using all types of languages, not just JavaScript. And yeah, it's a good way to keep your skills fresh. So let's go ahead and jump into this problem. Um, this problem is a level seven problem. The, the way the difficulty rankings work here is that it goes one to eight, where one is the hardest and eight is the easiest. So seven is a relatively easy problem. Um, if you look over here in the top right corner, I'm at level five right now, so I'm not like an expert or anything. So most of the problems I'm going to be solving are uh, generally on the easier side. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And this question is called form the minimum. It says given a list of digits, return the smallest number that could be formed from these digits using the digits only once. So basically we're ignoring duplicates. And then it tells us for test cases, only positive integers will be passed to the function. So we don't have to worry about any uh, negatives or zeros. Um, and yeah, they'll give us some examples down here of what your return value should be. So just taking a quick look at this, if we're ignoring duplicates for this first array here, then there are only two different numbers, one and three. And the lowest number that you can return out of that combination of those two numbers is uh, 13. Looking at a more complicated example, we're going to ignore the duplicates again. So the unique values we have in this array are 5, 7, and 9. And the lowest value that we could return based off of any combination of those numbers is uh, 579, which is the answer here. So pretty uh, straightforward question. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the solution here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to ES6 syntax because I'm picky like that. Uh, we're just going to change this into an arrow function because I think it looks nicer and get rid of that comment there. All right. So now um, let's think about how we're going to approach this problem. So basically, whenever we look at the example cases here, um, you can see that first thing we need to do is we need to remove the duplicates, right? Also, you'll notice that the first digit in the return value is always going to be the lowest number out of all the values in the array. And then the following digits are going to be the next lowest number and so on. So if we look at this uh, first example, well, actually that only has two numbers. so That's not the best case. Um, let's look at the second one. So ignoring duplicates, we have five, seven, and nine. They, they happen to already be in order, but you can see the lowest value possible out of any combination of those numbers is going to have five, which is the lowest number first, seven, the next lowest number, and then nine, which is the last digit. We'll look at a more complicated example here. Um, ignoring the duplicates. One is obviously the lowest number. Um, so that's the first value. Three is the next one. Then after that's four, six, seven, nine, so on. So you can see the pattern there. So essentially what we want to do is we want to sort the array and then we want to remove the duplicates. And that will get us pretty close to the return value that we need. And I'll show you what I mean here. So first I'm going to declare a variable called sorted. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the array that's being passed in as a parameter. It's called values. And I'm going to use JavaScript's array.sort method on it. Um, so, and now when we run this, I'm going to return sorted to see what we get. You'll see in your, uh, your test cases down here, like the first, the first array here is values is equal to an array with one, three, and one. After we sort it, we get one, one, three. So it, it sorts the array for us in numerical order. Okay. Next, we need a way to store only the unique numbers and get rid of the duplicates. So the easiest way I can think of is to declare an empty variable first to store our unique numbers. So I'll call this uh, los nums. We'll just give it um, a value of an empty array for now. And so in order to find uh, in order to find out whether a number is a duplicate or not, we're going to iterate through this sorted array, and then we're going to use JavaScript's index of method. So index of takes in a parameter, and what it'll do is it'll check the array that you run index of on 
for that parameter. If it finds that parameter, then it's going to return whatever value that the uh, parameter you passed in is located within the array. If it's not in the array, then it's going to return a negative one. So we're looking for unique values, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a for loop first. And this is going to be a basic for loop. We're just going to create a variable called i, set it to zero, I'll set this for loop to run while i is less than the length of our sorted array. And then after each cycle of the for loop, we're going to iterate i by one. Okay. So now we have a for loop that iterates through our sorted array. And next thing we need to do is we need uh, some type of conditional statement to check whether or not the value that we're currently at within the array is inside of our lowest nums array or not. That's pretty much the mechanism we're going to use to extract um, just the unique values and get rid of duplicates. So I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to write an if statement. And inside the if statement, I'll say if, and this is where uh, index dot, or what I say, this is where our index of method comes into play. We're going to say if lowest nums dot index of. So, whoops, it's not called a right, it's called a, what's it called? Sorted. Okay. So since we're doing this in the for loop, we're going to check each element to see whether it's already in the lowest nums array or not. So based on this condition, we have our if statement checking to see if the index of value is going to be equal to negative one. That's checking whether this sorted value is within the lowest nums array yet or not. Because if it's not, then it's going to return a negative one. And if that's the case, then we need to add it to our lowest nums array. So, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and return the uh, lowest nums array here. And you'll see what I mean. Oh, sh I messed something up. Let's see. Do I have too many, I think too many parentheses. Okay, yeah, so now we get our lowest nums array which has everything sorted and also it removed the duplicates for us if you can see from our return values here so basically we're very close if you can see it tells us that the test expected 13 here but got an array with one and three expected four five seven but got an array with those numbers in it too so now all we need to do is just join use array.join see what happens here this is the return value you get after we use join and it's still not passing because um, these are in string format right now it needs to be um, in, it needs to be an integer so we can just use JavaScript's number method and wrap that whole return value in that and then that should be it so yeah um, pretty basic solution hopefully that made sense for you guys what I want to do now actually is I want to uh, I want to see what like this is the cool thing about code wars because after you submit your answer you can see what kind of solutions other people came up with so let's take a look at that real quick um, and usually the uh, the top answers are these like really short one line two line solutions which you'd probably never do in a real world situation but I mean I like it it's it's clever um, and it looks nice. Yeah, so this person used the set keyword. I'm not too familiar with how that works, so I'm not going to try to explain that now, but definitely something um, to look into, which is why I actually check out these solutions after I submit my own, because you can learn a lot just from looking at other people's solutions. Yeah, it looks like most of the uh, top solutions did use set, so it, I guess that removes the need of having to uh, use a for loop to iterate and push values into a new array. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Oh, I was about to say like this is what I this was my solution and it is my solution. So that's pretty cool. I made it on the board, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and upvote my own solution there. Hopefully, it gets some more visibility. 
yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Remember, I do have the link to this problem down below. So if you want to give it a try, definitely do so. And, uh, you know, if you have a different solution than what I did, then make a comment down below. Uh, I'd love to see what your solution is, you know. And that's what I love about coding is there's always more than one way to do things. So thank you for watching. Um, there will be a lot more of these types of videos in the future. So, so yeah. Peace out, guys. Thanks.